Hey guys, this is Bryce with Rentastic. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to sign up and get started with Rentastic to track all of your rental property expenses. So first things first, if you're not already at rentastic.io, go ahead and do that now. And then you're going to come up here and click on register. You're going to go ahead and I'm just going to create a test user, enter the email address, create a password, and confirm the password and click on register. From there, it's going to ask you to verify your email address. I'll go ahead and do that now. And then after verifying, I'll get this message saying that I'm successfully verified, and it should automatically redirect us to the login screen. Perfect. So when you get to this screen, this is the dashboard. This is kind of the, the home page for Rentastic. And you'll notice here that there are three items that Rentastic is asking us to do first. So the first things first, we're going to add our very first property. Now we can either click right here or we can also click on the properties uh, button over here on the left side. I'll just click here because it'll take us right where we wanna go. So I'll click on that and then you'll see here, this is all the different information that we can enter into Rentastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to add uh, an image for our property. And so I'll click that, wait for it to upload. And then after that, I'll go ahead and put in the property address. And for here, this is 1020 Catherine Avenue, Idaho Falls, Idaho, 83404. And it, it's best if you can fill in as much information as possible because Rentastic is going to use this information to help you forecast uh, certain values in the future and also give you a better picture at how por your portfolio is doing. Once we've got all that, we'll go ahead and click Save. And ta-da, we have added our very first property. If we want, we can click on this to see our property details. You can see uh, information such as your loan to value, where it's located, your Zestimate, uh, cap rate, net operating income, all these different values. You'll notice too that these values right here, there's a lot of zeros. The reason for that is because we haven't given Rentastic any data yet. We need to add a bank account and link our transactions before this, uh, this information will begin to populate. Let's head back to the dashboard, and you'll notice that now that we've added our first property, we've got a check mark here. So the next thing we need to do is we need to link our bank account. So I'll go ahead and click on this, and then from here, I'll click on link account. Rentastic has support for thousands of different bank accounts. So if you don't see your bank account here, then you can actually search for it, which is what I'm gonna do. I use a little credit union out of Idaho called Mountain America, and here it is, Mountain America Credit Union. And I'll click on that, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and my password. Say submit. And then typically speaking, there will be a two-factor authentication or whatever your bank requires. So I'll go ahead and click on that and then say continue. So now I'm going to put in my two-factor authentication code and then say next. And once it validates everything, it's going to give you a list of all the different accounts that you can add. So for this, I've only got two listed here and that's fine. I'll select uh, checking and savings and then say continue. At this point, Rentastic is pulling all of your bank information and you can see that I now have two bank accounts that it's tracking and it's going to start importing transactions from these two sources. You'll also notice that now on the left side, there's a button that says transactions and I've got 310 items uh, that I need to classify. So again, I can just click over here on transactions and now we're brought to the transactions page. So this is where you're going to classify all of the different transactions and assign them to different properties. So right here, we can see that a tenant has paid us rent through Cozy and it's autom automatically been classified as income. And then from here, I can select the drop down and apply it to the property that we added earlier. Um, I can go down to the next property. I want to say this is a mortgage payment that we paid. So I can come here and select mortgage payment and I can apply it to this property as well. And then uh, let's keep going here and say this is a credit card payment. So I can go and say transfer and this applies to our entire portfolio. Now I, I select entire portfolio when I have general expenses that don't specifically apply to one individual property. So things like um, credit card payments or, or things like that are a good way to assign it to the entire portfolio and not just one specific property. You'll notice too that as I classify these transactions, so I'll call this one office supplies, 
that the red circle around um, each item actually disappears, meaning it's done being classified. So this is Office Supplies. I'll go ahead and add this to the entire portfolio. Now, if we go back to the Properties section and then go down to the Property Details, if we scroll down, you can see that this data is now beginning to populate. We've got information for our cap rate, our cash flow per unit, our net operating income. And if we scroll down even further, you'll see that we now have income that's been classified and we have our mortgage payment that's been classified. Now, last but not least, if we head over to the dashboard page, you now notice that this view is entirely different than it was before. We now have income, we now have expenses, it shows our portfolio value, debt, number of properties and units, and we can also see a graph showing the difference between our expenses and our income. Okay, so that's it. In just a few minutes, you've completely set up Rentastic, and now you are ready to go. Thanks so much for watching.